Greetings, friends. Good morning to you. Welcome to the second edition of Morning Devotion, sponsored by the Anglican Orthodox Communion Worldwide. My name is Jerry Ogles. This is August 10, 2024. In the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 19, verse 42, we find these words of our Lord as he beheld Jerusalem for the last time before his passion. He said, If thou hadst known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. End of reading. Let's say also the prayer of Collect for the 15th Sunday following uh, Trinity, after Trinity. We pray. Keep, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy church with thy perpetual mercy. And because the frailty of man without thee cannot but fall, keep us ever by thy help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. On this tenth day of August, in the year 70 after our Savior's birth, the city of Jerusalem was utterly destroyed as Christ had foretold 40 years before. The horrors of its siege and final destruction constitute one of the most frightful pages in history. This day, therefore, reminds us of the pitying tears which our Lord shed on the Palm Sunday about 40 years before at the sight of the doomed city and in the heart-rending cry if thou hadst known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. As a hen gathereth her young under her protecting wings, so had he in tireless love for three long years sought in vain to gather his people around him and his salvation. Even now he was ready to receive and save them, if they would only come to him, but they would not. He sees and laments the fearful spiritual blindness holding their eyes and made incurable through their willful and persistent unbelief. He had come as the light of the world to enlighten and to save them, but they would not follow him, and so were doomed, doomed by their own fault to destruction and everlasting night. He is still the light of the world, our blessed Lord. Whosoever believes in him does not walk in darkness, but has the light of life, of everlasting life. But alas, so many of his nominal followers still walk in the natural blindness of their hearts and refuse to believe his gospel and to be saved. For them he also wept, O oh, may our merciful Savior open our eyes that we may know in this our day the things belonging to our peace. Remember the words of our Lord in John, the Gospel of St. John, chapter 11, verse 25 and 26, when speaking to Martha outside the tomb of Lazarus, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Think on these things, friends. Hope to see you tomorrow. Good day to you.